it's time to take it out of the oven. And it's finally time to taste test what we created. Oh, I'm yeah, excited to see what you think. Yeah, so just I can't believe we made this. Grab one and take a bite and just tell me what you think. Greg, and I'm here with Aurora, and she's all the way from China. Well, not really. She's originally from China, lives in Los Angeles. We're making carrot apple clusters. So how are your cooking skills? Uh, I can cook at all. Can you boil water? Uh, oh, that can. I can do that. So she boil water. Can you read? Yes, I okay. can read. She can read, and so she can cook. This is going to be a recipe is from my cookbook, cookbook 3.0. It's that simple. Okay. If you can read, you can cook. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right, we're gonna make these and we're gonna go step by step. And so step number one says mm -hmm. to preheat the oven to 350. 350, so that's it. So if you don't know how to bake, it's it's that simple. You just read and you do what it says. This is not gonna be complicated. Sorry, Next. one question. A lot of families, I mean, in my country, mm -hmm. a lot of families, they don't have oven. But can I use microwave? You can certainly cook it in a microwave. I mean, frankly, I would eat this stuff raw without even cooking it. It's gonna taste delicious. I actually love raw muffin dough. It's, you ever had cookie dough, stuff like that? Muffin dough raw? Oh yeah, I think we have that. It's delicious. So if you don't have an oven, it might be harder than last time, but you can give it a try in a microwave and see what happens. I've never tried it in a microwave, so I don't know what it would do. Yes. But we might be able to try that later. Line a muffin tin with cupcake liners and spray with cooking spray. So this is our muffin tin, see? And cooking spray. You said earlier that there was no such thing as cooking spray in your Yeah, country. I mean, in LA it's pretty often, but when I go back to Beijing, I just check the supermarket. I didn't really see a like spray bottle of an, of an oil. So mm. what I'm doing was I just pour the oil in the spray bottle and I do the spray. But then, that maybe do it. Does it have more? Does it has more calories? It would have a little bit more calories. But what you could do is spray it in the pan, and you could take like a Kleenex and just kind of wipe it quickly, and it'll remove oh. some of the excess, so you have less calories in those. Do you want to give this a try? You spray it real quick, one or two seconds. Like like, like this? Yeah. Or like this? Yeah. Either way, spray it the way you like. Quicker, faster, faster. Yes, and done. Time. There's about 10 calories per second. So every second that you spray, it's a bit longer. It'll actually taste better with more because it's oil. It's going to make it taste yummy and delicious. You can get different flavors like butter flavor. And I literally spray this on popcorn. Do you eat popcorn? Oh, yes. I spray I it on do. popcorn and then I put like Splenda or Sugar uh -huh. Twins and I sprinkle that on. I put on like popcorn seasoning, like cheddar, and I make it like a dessert. So oh I my eat God. popcorn and it tastes it, it delicious. It's amazing. Yeah, try I that. Popcorn. I gotta try that. You need I to love try. Popcorn. In a large bowl, mix all the dry ingredients. So some people they don't know the difference between a wet ingredient and a dry. So does this look dry or wet? Looks dry. Pretty dry. So let's yeah. add that in the bowl. So you can just grab that and we're putting it in our large bowl. So all, all, all of, it? of it. Yeah, get it all in there. It says mix all the dry ingredients. Anything else that looks dry, we can add that in. Perhaps. Like that? This oh, looks pretty dry. All the dry... Anything that's dry, and the way I think of it, it was like, if I threw this on your shirt, would it stick to it? And if uh, it wouldn't, I think it's dry, and if it sticks to it, like the applesauce, I feel like yes, that would that sticky. would stick. So let's see what else. So that looks wet. Maybe that one is dry. Oh, this one is dry as well. That looks yes. pretty dry. Yeah, and those that's ones, that, that would stick to your shirt. That looks dry right there. You can add that in, and that's wet. This one looks... That will do it, yep. Yes. So none of that would stick her shirt. And that's a little, that's like, that's somewhere in the middle. I think we'll leave it for now. Mix all the in together. I mean, okay. That's how you mix. Do we have a professional person that can stir this? Yes. There, <laughs> we, there we go. We have okay, added sorry. some extra devices. You, can I do this? you could use your hand. Yeah, there we go. Have you ever made a cake before no, when you're a kid? I used to make cakes with my mom when I was like eight. I loved it. I think I only liked it because I wanted to lick the spoon. Oh. Have you ever licked a spoon of a like cake mix? Yes, of course. Delicious. Yes. Mm, you just lick it all. Oh, it's good. That's it for that step. So that wasn't very hard. And then now it says in a separate bowl, mix all the rest of the ingredients together. So let's just let me put that over to the side. So the rest of the ingredients. And grab this, whatever you got. Yeah, all of it. We're just all put it all in there. Okay. All the wet. Let me shake it in here. 
Oh yeah, there is. That's what, good enough. This is applesauce, right? Apple. This is pumpkin. A pumpkin. It's like a. This it's very low in calories, and it adds a lot of moisture to the to yeah. the foods because you want to bite into it and you want it to be like soft in the center. Yeah. A lot of people don't like the word moist. Does that offend you? Moist. Moist, moist is not right. offensive. Juicy, right? And we got maybe a bit more of that applesaucey stuff. You can this use this. Fun. Yeah, maybe just scrape that out. See, we're all learning. It's cooking for beginners today. We don't need you. Don't need to be a professional to use this book. First That's awesome. Experience. And now it says to mix these ingredients together. Oh, we missed one oh. more. But listen, in the end, as long as it gets all in there together, at some point we're mixing it all together. So don't worry about it. Don't stress it. This is very simple. First time cooking. <laughs> oh yeah, you're doing well. See, it's not as hard as you thought. Yeah. We're a little nervous before we started. Never cooked before. She didn't it's couldn't bake like an egg. It's not that bad. It's like a fine spirit. You can get everyone together, have a good time. Add the wet ingredients to the dry. So this is the wet and the dry. So we're gonna take the wet and we're gonna put it in the dry ingredients and mix well until everything is well incorporated, which just means together. Together, mix and it. And it makes it thick and dense. So let's so grab put, that over here. Put the wet in the dry. Yeah. So I'm just gonna do this. Exactly. All of it in there. All Maybe right. I'll hold that and then you can like scrape it with the like pan. We're just getting all the slot, the sides slapped down, all yeah, that extra got it. stuff. We got it. Oh, yeah, that's good. So I'm all gonna right. mix it. And then we mix it all together until it's well incorporated so that it's all a dense, thick mixture. So it's just kind of like. It's already smelling good. It's gonna taste even better. So I'm gonna read ahead so that we know what to do. Oh, the best, the next step is gonna be fun too. We're gonna to be filling up the cupcake liner. So after this is all mixed, we're going to fill up the cupcake liners. Do you think that this is gonna work your biceps or your triceps? You're gonna yes, work your arms doing this. Sometimes. And my form. Absolutely. When I used to make protein bars and it was so thick, I'd have to do this. And by the end of it, you were pumped. You had a good workout just from doing this. And it's really fun. It's a fun thing to do. Some people love to cook. They can spend hours in the kitchen. You could go on a date and cook muffins. So guys out there, if you don't know what to do, buy my freaking cookbook, invite your girls over and say, let's make carrot apple muffins while watching Coach Greg. Coach Greg and chill, people. Never mind Netflix and chill. Coach Greg and chill. And you know what's a really good test? If you want to know if a girl is good to date, you, you go up to a girl at the gym and you say, have you ever heard of Coach Greg? And if they say yes, that's a keeper. If they say no, keep moving on. Because Move on to the next one. He, if he say yes, it means he can cook. They can cook, they work out, they do 150 yes. minutes of cardio a week. Yes, they have yes. fitness as part of life. And so that's somebody you want. That's, that's the kind a of, that's way. a winner, that's a catch. Yes. <laughs> and so just so you know, some of the ingredients, obviously you're gonna see the recipe and the details on top, but we have 200 grams of shredded carrots. So you have a carrot and you just shred it. You cut it up, you scrape it down to little bits. Shredded carrots. 100 grams of apples were just cut into bits. Three scoops of harder than last time protein. And so if you wanted to use vegan protein to make it vegan, you can get that kind. But if you want regular protein, you can also use whey, casein blends. Do the one you want. I love vanilla, but maybe you want to make an experimental. Maybe you want a chocolate one, a strawberry one. Do the one that makes you happy. Also, we had 190 grams of oat flour, pumpkin puree, 180 grams. That makes it very moist. It makes it super soft, delicious, very low in calories. I highly suggest you try it making variety of your cooking needs, pancakes, muffins, uh, baked goods, anything. Also, 180 grams of applesauce. That also makes it very low in calories, adds some more moisture. You could also use egg whites. Do you guys have egg whites in China? There's 1.4 billion people. Do they eat egg whites over there? Not so often because I, before I came to the United States, I don't really know that you can actually buy a liquid liquid egg white in the supermarket because we don't really have it. We, <laughs> we just have egg. For me, it's like, it's hard to imagine because we're so spoiled. We go in and we have these big, massive cartons yes. and you just egg whites. So when I, when I back to town, when I back to Beijing, I usually, I, I would do just put a little hole in, in the egg and uh, put the egg white, let the egg white just Really? You have to tap out. a little hole and then like, so you don't yes. like crack it and then do the whole like back and oh, forth I don't thing. Know. Do the I don't know how to do that. Oh wow. And I put in 10 packs of a Splenda or Sugar Twin, Twin Sugar, whatever you want to call it. You just use these things, you just open them up and you have your sugar. And this is what I put on my popcorn. So I used to spray and I spray the popcorn and I put these on top and it's just like a topping. It's like adding sugar on top so you get the crunch of the popcorn with the sweetness from the sugar. Absolutely delicious. All right, so we now are ready to put this into here. So we're going to make... 
this in each one of yeah, we're going to evenly spread this out so that it's three quarters full. So basically, oh, you can use this. Ah. So we have, have you ever made an ice cream cone? Like this, a special kind. Actually, so you no. scoop it. <laughs> so this is, a, I, I did it not very often, but this has a, a cutting thing. And so you get the scoop of the ice cream and then it does that. So you see, it scrapes the bottom of the ice cream and then it comes out on the cone and you eat the cone. It's a nice little scoop. Yeah. So you do the same thing here like this. So we have it like that, and then you just put it over and you press the button and it comes in. So you have like a scoop. Now, if you didn't have that, you can obviously, we can just do it like the old fashioned way and just kind of hope for the best. <laughs> a little bit harder. So it's a bit more messy, but we'll give you a try. You can buy it on Amazon, right? You can buy it on Amazon, eBay, the grocery stores typically, and turn it upside down and like press that button. So it's like ice cream in a muffin tin. And so baking can be quite fun. A lot of people find yeah. it relaxing. You might be stressed out for the day and you want to make something healthy. So you get the cookbook and you make the recipe, you relax, have a good time. And then you know you have a healthy recipe because most oftentimes if you go to the store and you buy something, it's going to be very high in calories. It's yeah. a lot of sugar because they don't care about your health. They care about how good does it taste. Yeah. They don't care about health at all. So they make it very high in fat and sugar, make it taste delicious, but not really good for you. So if you make your foods at home, you know what you're putting into it and it's gonna be a lot better for you definitely suggest you you cook at home try and experiment I mean I have my own cookbooks we have other people like Will Tennyson has a cookbook there's so many different cookbooks out there you can buy the one that you want I have various kinds this is 3.0 I have 2.0 1.0 I have even vegan cookbooks I have everything out there buy the one that's best for you and experiment and I feel like while I'm doing this I kind of more enjoy the moment i can you know stay in the moment so my my, my brain all like often you know overthinking sure I think this I think that but while i'm doing this i kind of like focus on do you find thing. exercise does that for you as well like you when you do cardio and dancing do you find that it just relaxes you it gets you out of like the stress of the day yes i find it does 100 percent. whenever i'm on a bike ride mm -hmm. i don't care what kind of day i'm having if i'm sitting on the bike and i'm racing there's no stress i could have the worst day of my life I'm in the bike and then after I'm done, I feel so much better. And we talked about it earlier, the, the wellness, having the mental and the yes, physical wellness. and the social, all those different factors. So a little bit of everything goes a long way. And if it bursts over the top, there's no rules in the anabolic kitchen. If it spills over the top, it gets like a, a nice crust and it actually tastes delicious. We've got one more little bit. I'll put that in this one. You want to taste? Can I taste like this? You can eat it right off the spoon. What do you think? It's good. It's tasty. Mm. It's like peanut butter. Mm. It actually does taste a lot like peanut butter. It's a good way to describe it. So as it's raw, I could eat a bowl of this. I would be like, that's peanut butter with a bit of crunch actually, in it. Actually, it already tastes really uh, good like this. Mm. So why, why, why are we... Like, why are we even cooking it? Yes. Why it's going to be even better. It? It's going to be gooey in the center and it's going to have a crispy coating on the top. It's going to be amazing. But just are have you to put sure it in for this is low calorie? Because it tastes like high calorie and so and so if you want to know the macros of the each of these cluster muffins there's 116 calories there's two grams of fat there's 18 grams of carbs three grams of fiber and eight grams of protein and so in the entire batch if you ate all of it 1395 calories 23 fat 213 carb 31 fiber which is a lot it's good for you and 99 grams of protein and wow. they're health muffins Eric Janicki was here and he ate some of these. He was like, these are healthy muffins. He said, these are the best muffins I've ever eaten in my life. This is better than the, you know, that they sell. You go to the store and you buy it and it's junk. For the, a regular muffin at like Tim Hortons would be three or 400 calories. Yeah. You go to Costco, it's gonna be even more. And you're like, there's 40 grams of fat, it's sugar and you eat that and you, it's not good for you. So this is the benefit of the book. You have all these things. What we did is we took low, like regular recipes and made them all lower in calories so that everyone can eat them. Because the diet has to be something you enjoy. Yeah. So we're gonna add this into the oven for 20 minutes. We got like, here we go. We've got professional oven mitts here. I'm gonna put this open. Don't go too close to the oven. Bring that. Bring this. Pull it out first. Yeah. Pull it out. All right. And so, in the center, close and seal. And 20 minutes. Good. That's it. Thanks. That's it. That's all you have to do. 20 minutes later. And so the 20 minutes are up. It's time to take it out of the oven. 
And so there it is, a little crispy on the top. It's gonna be juicy on the inside. And so we're gonna let it cool down in a few minutes. We're gonna give it a taste test. One eternity later. And it's finally time to taste test what we created. And so we did this, we made this. Yes. Oh I'm my excited God. to see what you think. Yeah, so just I can't believe we made this. Grab one and take a bite and just tell me what you think. It's so good. It's mm. like melting in my mouth. And Especially doesn't it the... taste a lot like peanut butter? Yes. Surprisingly. Mm -hmm. I mean, if I bother somewhere in the store, I will only have one bite because I would think it's too much calories. Mm. But this handmade one, like I made it. Right. I know the recipe. I know it's healthy, but it tastes the same and even so better. It literally has apples in it and carrots and low calorie stuff. It's healthy. And so you can eat several of these. There's only 117 calories each, I think, and eight grams of protein. Wow. Mm. I wish the restaurant can, I mean, have your recipe. And because people always order uh, dessert mm. after the after the meal. One dessert taste? at a restaurant probably had more calories than all of this. You get like a cheesecake, you can eat all of these. And so Eric Janicki, you remember he was making uh, the cheesecake with me and he was eating these. And I just sent him a photo. I said, look what we made. He wrote, Top five best things I've ever eaten. I would eat 10 of those per day. And so this is private chatting behind the scenes. It's not lying, it's not BS. This stuff, it tastes so amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I don't feel guilty at all. Sometimes I eating uh, when I, well, when I eat like, I mean, delicious stuff, tasty stuff, I will feel guilty even though I don't want to. Mm. I still feel guilty. But now I don't like guilty free. When you know it's healthy, just guilty free. If you're interested in any of the cookbooks, click the link in the description. This is available both in the hard copy and in a PDF. So get the one you want. And also don't forget to follow Aurora in the Red Book and Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Billy Billy. You're on like everything. <laughs> a lot, yeah. She's all over the place. So go check her out. Um, she does all kinds of fun, interesting things, dancing videos and whatnot, get you in shape. Her audience is about 90% women, right? Uh, yes, 90%. 90, of and mine is 95% boys. So perhaps we can swap people that some of her girl followers can maybe follow me. So my males can go check her out. And so it's a win-win. Yes. I mean, I would definitely recommend everyone to get this cookbook. It's really good. I mean, the, I checked the ingredients and the recipes. I mean, it's really good. And, and the stuff is easy to buy. And if you cannot buy it, cannot find it, you can always find things to substitute, right? And so buy my freaking cookbook. And until next time, we're out.